Hello everyone, my name is Silverwolf, and welcome back to Fallout 3. As you can hear, my heart is- my character's heart is still pounding, because we are still very, very low on health. But we're going to continue on. We go upstairs of the Washington Monument, and we are going to install this dish. And pray there's no super mutants upstairs, because dear god, I do not have the health to fight them right now. Okay, we made it. Excellent. And millimeter rounds. Take that metal helmet, that's probably worth it. Alrighty. Don't think I can fast travel from here, can I? World map. No. Can't fast travel from here. We'll go back downstairs and outside and then we'll fast travel. Back down the tower we go. And a very rickety looking elevator. I'm shocked that this thing actually survives. Given the amount of holes in it. Nothing over there to get anyway. Okay. Now we should be able to teleport from here. Oh boy. That was a hell of a fight. Pleased to meet you. Three do Night Finley and Let's go. Hail. If you're looking for the free dog, he's upstairs. All right, three dog. Hey, all right. The hero of the wasteland returns. <clears throat> hey, you're the one that deserves all the thanks. You struck a major blow against tyranny. Now, GNR can be heard clear across the Capital Wasteland again. That'll give Eden and those muties something to think about. But before I get back to my calling, I bet you want to hear about your dad. Damn right I do. Whoa now, dry your eyes. A promise is a promise, and I will provide. When your dad passed through here, he and I talked for a good long time. He was a real stand-up kind of guy. He mentioned some scientific mumbo-jumbo which didn't make sense to me, and mentioned something called Project Purity. He also said something about going to visit a Dr. Lee in Rivet City, then he left in a hurry. Okay, Rivet City is our next stop. You never heard of Rivet City? Wow. Just... Wow. Well, a whole bunch of people got together and turned a beached aircraft carrier into a town. Pretty cool, huh? Just follow the river south from here. There's no way you can miss it. I can't even tell you the love I'm getting from the wasteland. Ever since GNR started singing again, the guys downstairs told me that more people than ever are tuning in. Hell yeah. That's all I ever wanted. Anytime. Okay. I'm pretty sure that energy weapons doesn't affect... I'll have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure that energy weapons doesn't affect the Gatling laser in this game. Because it comes under big guns. 
This is one that specifically says the Gatling laser. Um... Might take intense training and level my strength up to 10. Alrighty. I can't steal any of his stuff. could steal from his first aid cabinet, but I'm trying to keep good karma. What we'll do... Go down here. That was a hell of a fight. Nice work. Go down here. And... Rivet, Rivet City is just down there. I could probably teleport back to Museum of Technology and get there get closer to it. But I don't want to go there just yet. First of all, I want to go back to Megaton. And see if I can get some medical supplies and some ammo. Yeah? You need something? Wait three hours. You sick? Inj I'm Doc Church, and I. If you do bother me, you better be damn near. Follow my. Good lord, this. All right. You're just going to get yourself killed out there, you know. Not that you'll listen to me. All better now. Oh, that's way better. Well, did my medical Planet supplies? Yep, I'll give you all my trash. Mentats I'll hold on to, metal helmet I'll hold on to. Um Minigun I'll sell. Psycho can go. Sell the armor. Sawn off. Scotch sensor modules. How much you got? 128 on you. Engage assembly. Whiskey. Wonder glue. Millimeter submachine gun. Yeah, I saw the baseball bat. Okay. Perfect. 
Okay, that's good to stock up on that. That makes me feel better. Um, I'm going to find Moira up at Crater Side Supplies. To see if we can buy some decent ammo off her. Would be nice to get more ammo for the Gatling laser. I don't think that's going to happen, but it would be nice to have. Well, it's nice to dream. <laughs> Gotta have hope, you know? It's a saloon. Making a move? Huh? The Creel's house. That's the shitter. Did I go past it already? Lucy West's house. Jericho's house. Empty house. Must have gone past it. Off. I did go right past it. How are those hot little? Um. It's not just. Let's see what you got for sale. What any of those? Thirty-three of those. charge packs if I need. I'm not gonna have any of those, that's fine. Or stim packs. Six. So, yeah. I can't count. Whoops. Oh well. Don't hurt yourself. Doesn't matter. Okay. So now we gotta go to Rivet City, and I think the fastest way we go back to the Museum of Technology. Not gonna use. I'm gonna go back to using my hunting rifle. If I can. And we'll just try and get to Rivet City. Searched, good. You a writer? You another human with a death. Nice to meet you. I'm the sentry for Underworld. City of ghouls. My name's Willow, by the way. Sure did. Underworld. It's right inside the Museum of History. Interesting. And through the big skull. 
Most of the residents ain't crazy about humans, but they'll sell to you, fix you up so long as your caps are good and you ain't a ghoul hater. Come on, here you are in the mall of our nation's fine capital. Take face it. <laughs> Those knuckle draggers, nah, they don't bother us ghouls. Maybe they see us as kin or something, I don't know. Now there's other assholes. It's a brotherhood. Yeah, you know, those humans like you. Well, maybe not like you, I don't know, but humans all the same. The Brotherhood of Steel guys <laughs> with their testosterone and power armor. Testosterone and power armor. And company mercs. Those other assholes. Yeah, racism on both sides. They don't like us, and we don't like them. Or at least the Brotherhood doesn't like them anyway. Um... Am I going back through the train station? Uh, local map. Maybe we're going through the museum. How's the mall treating you? Oh, through the train station. Got him. Get wrecked. Remove your collars. Take that and that. Get Wastelander. Bottle cap. Money is still useful to us. Oh, I can't go through there. Is able to go over. Yep. We have a little raider encampment over here, that's right. Okay. I'm moving a little bit more confidently now. I've got a shit ton of uh, medkits, impacts, whatever you want to call them. I got a decent amount of ammo. I can relax a little bit. In fact, uh, one last thing is that metal helmet on. For more damage resistance. Okay. I want to go down here.
Bitch, there's no escape for you. Little calf. Armor, sawn off, shoddy shells. Another stim pack, you beauty. Back of Siggies. Fire Iron, Badlands armor. Nothing up there. Keep going around the corner. Uh, good, we've already, I've already reloaded. I'm already getting that habit. That's excellent. Um, probably more raiders up here. I'm guessing. Yep. Ow. Yep, I don't want to fight you from down here. Could your aim be any worse? Seriously. Oh my god. Yeah, I saw you coming, buddy. Bang! <laughs> Alright, got them both, excellent. We do need to use some stim packs though. On the ammo, on the armor. And the other one goes back here. Same thing for you. Keep pressing shift to sprint. Shift is not to sprint in Fallout. Shift is to walk. Like Siggies. On the controller. Buff out, Mentats, paint guns aren't worth it, they're too heavy, jet, Listen illustrated, Red X, empty whiskey bottles are worthless, Don't sit on the bench, there's Jet there. Oh, okay, let's do some airing. Uh, weapons, hunting rifle. A millimeter pistol. Why did I just drop that? Wow, that got yeeted. I'm back here, I'm not done with you.
All right. Definitely still Raiders out there. Well, let's just finish having a poke around up here before we go down there. Because I reckon there's probably ammo or stuff up here. Millimeter round, same millimeter, millimeter pistol, buff out. And that's why we go and explore. Always more stuff around. That will probably be it though. That's fine. Go back down here. Oop, not down there. Okay. Down this tunnel. Nothing in here. The game's wanting me to go that way, but there's no way I can go that way. Gotcha. So what if... Rather than going that way, let's go this way. And then we'll go that way. So we'll sort of go in here and then off to the right. Maybe. Book cap, button siggies, wonder glue. Open the door. Some exploring, filing cabinet. And millimeter rounds, you beauty. Siggies. shots of the head and you run like fuck. You kid. I don't know where he went, so I'll let him go for now. Throw into him again, he's dead. I don't care that he's trying to run away. You don't start a fight with someone. Expect to get away with it. Four rounds. Anything in the shitters? Nope. No medicine cabinets either. Alrighty. And there. Door, nothing in there. Caps. Oh, 
Don't think it's worth it. Um, not at that weight. Brick. Use a protectron in there. I could activate, but I don't know if there's anything else that I need to kill. I'm probably not going to bother. It's still soon to go that way. Oh, of course, I'm blind. Wow. Did not even see that there was this bloody uh, entrance over here. Well done, Silver. You are blind as a feckin' bat. Covered yeah, Anacostia Crossing, excellent. So how far are we are we away from the city? Not far at all. Oh dirt, it's right there. Wow. Perfect. That's one thing I like about Fallout 3 is all the metro stations. It was a lot of fun, like, going underground and going through those. Like, yeah, it's scary at times when you run into bloody super mutants and shit down there, but... Please, help me. Can you help me? I've been drinking this irradiated shit and I... I... But please... If I find somebody, I'll give it to you. <laughs> so how do I get over there? I'm guessing going for a swim is probably not the best idea. Off. Welcome to Rivet City. The Baron's gonna love this. It's definitely right up his alley. Big old aircraft carrier turned into a city. Fuck yeah. Hold it right there. State your business in Rivet City. Yeah? Let me guess. No, she's not expecting you. But it's really important, and you need to see her right away. Been a lot of that going around lately, and I've had just about enough of it. Hmm. Older guy, in his 50s or so? I remember him. He left already. But Dr. Lee might know more. All right, you can go on up. She'll be in the science lab. Just don't cause any trouble, or else you're going to answer to me. All righty, buddy. Carry on. Everything looks okay here. Uh, let's just wait. Nine hours. Keep pressing E to cancel it, damn it. Just wait till 9 a.m. Into the marketplace. 
Go to Rivet City Market. Have you seen my good for nothing son, James? This here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, huh? Take a look around. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. Need to. Okay. So, do you have any electron charge packs? No, you don't. Bugger. Buy the stim packs. Uh, point through two caliber rounds. Five, five, six rounds. I'll do for now. Buff out, cut of ciggies, combat knife. Pack of ciggies. Missiles. Hi, Ryan. One off. We want money. And all of those. Mini nuke. Thirty two pistol. Yep, that will be good enough for now. A pleasure doing business with you. If you need... Alright, that's really annoying that they're not selling the parts that I need. Officer know if you see anything out of the ordinary. City supplies. Howdy, I'm Seagrave. Seagrave Holmes. What do you got, Seagrave? A what? Look, if you just want to crack... <laughs> what do you got for sale? Yeah, I'll grab those. Yeah, we'll sell those minute. We'll sell the, the stealth boys. They're, See? they're useful, but I can probably make better use of them Everything looks okay. by selling them, rather. This is a quick fit. We have a sale. Impacts, 14 of them. <coughs> Excuse me.
going to see myself ever using shotguns. That's fairly useless. I'll off one of those, I don't need two of them. Save the 308s. The fives and the five five six. All to me. Yeah, that'll do. Another satisfied. Welcome to Pat Straight. You had two seventy nine. I was got some steam facts I can buy, so yeah, I can sell off some of the stuff that I got. Sitting around with three dog. Any trouble in this Ted, area? If you're still looking for work, Christy Young can always use help cleaning the hangar decks. Dude, that sounds sweet, but uh, I'm kind of broke. As soon as I get some caps, though, I'm there. My specialty there. is my alert cakes, although the iguana is very popular. <laughs> Not much left of the flight deck. You are in for a treat. Alright, let's go and find Dr. Lee. You're in the Revit City. Uh, what do you got? You've probably got a lot of stim packs. Yes, you do. Okay. We'll come back to you. You don't look hurt. Science lab. Henry Young. Gaza. Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over this. We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee is trying to save lives, and your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now, please. Stand aside. <laughs> I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android. What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy. A robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine <laughs> the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us. Hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere city. else. Me too. Fine, getting through but these I'm walls. not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. Some sort of I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. <laughs> Suit yourself. That's why I'm glad I'm in here. Time is wasting. Yep, nobody cares about you, buddy. Getting through these walls. Janice, you have you overbalanced the, the chemical mix? Make things easier. Should... You there! What are you, some kind of... Are you by any chance for hire? To the point. Oh my god. I like that. Well... I don't want to talk to you, buddy, I don't care. This place some very sensitive property. Hmm... All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids. Uh. 
programmed to think Dance. and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally they get confused and wander off. Oh, the foreshadowing in this. <laughs> You're helping me retrieve this android, aren't you? I've tracked him this far. He's out there somewhere, in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Of course! I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, oh God, you'll what be an the idiot. envy of all your friends. Excellent! Look here! Listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me! I swear, I'll make him pay for that! Like I said, I just search the offices of doctors or techies for Android information. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. Now, if you'll excuse me. It'll be just fine. Try it again. Right. Did you hear Don't about the fight the in the muddy rock? Look, this is a restricted area. I. It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. And finally, Captain Whitey is shut up. Aren't you? What are you doing here? You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your parents many years ago. Now I run the science lab here in Rivet City. It was all I had left. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. We had no choice but to do the same. You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. I love how the woman, uh, over there is, like, completely frozen in time. You know, her eyes looking off to the, to the right there. <laughs> well, I guess it's her left, but, you know, our right. Your father is no longer here, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't use that tone with me. Oh, shut up. Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and headed off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Okay. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Look, I don't want to be. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors. I'm sorry. You under. Good luck. Other last Good night. Fragile. Okay. Yeah, Bill's there was going some to sort of bad in the city yesterday. Cheers. Intelligence bubblehead. The gate sure guard said the gunfire went on for over an hour. There was some sort of battle in the city yesterday. The gate guard said that the gunfire went on for over an hour. Nothing is getting through these walls. That's why I'm glad I'm in here. I do the repairs around here. This place could use a few more people willing to. Nice. Me too. What else do you want? Nothing is okay. Uh, excuse me, yawning. We're gonna call it here for today. This will be the end of this episode. We have reached Dr. Lee. We have a direction on where to go to to find Daddy. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. We'll be back. We're continuing on from here in the next episode. Until then, hope you have a great time, and I'll see you all then. Bye-bye!